Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on WX Python. Now, the version of WX Python that I'm using is at 3, but uh, any version should work just fine. Also, for my editor, I'm using uh, Emacs, so, but you guys can use whatever you want. Alright, so first thing first is I'm going to create a file. I'm just going to call it simple. So simple.py. Yes, I want to create it. And then I'm going to go into it. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is just I'm going to type out everything and then I'll explain what each line does. This is going to be a really simple example, so it's not going to be a lot of code. Then I'll walk through it. Alright, so first off, first off, we import WX. We need to do that in order to use it. And then um, we create app equals WX.app and then um, WX dot frame and we're gonna pass in none and then we're gonna call show and then we're gonna do the main loop all right um oops shoot nope all right there we go and uh now if i run it i should see a frame there you go there's a frame so one thing i should say is in wx terms a frame is what we would consider a window. So you see this is a window. You see Emacs right here. This is a window as well. So now uh, where where are you at? Uh, there we go. So this guy. So yeah, there you go. We created it. Doop, doop. There you go. So now if I go back. So now let me explain what everything is. So this line right here. App equals dot x app. This, this whole line right here. The only thing that is doing it's saying, hey, WX Python, I'm going to use you. So I need you to create, I need you to basically start the whole WX GUI toolkit. I want you to prepare it so that I can use it. That's basically what this line does right there. Now, if we move to the, the next line, this one, the WX.frame, this says, okay, I want to create a frame. That's the window that I just showed you guys that, that this, when you run it, it shows. Now, one thing right here that you guys noticed is none and show. So first off, let me sh uh, let me explain what show does. I mean, uh, wh why we need none, I'm sorry, why we need none in there. So if we look at the documentation for WX frame, as you can see right here, it says that we need a window parent. And since it doesn't default to any other uh, value, we need to give it. So yeah, so that's why we need to give the parent. So now we pass in none to tell it, hey, you don't have a parent. Now in some certain programs that might be different depending on how your code is structured on what you're doing. But yeah. Now, after we create the frame, uh, it's just in memory. We haven't told uh, Python to show it. So in order to do that, we have to call this conveniently method called show. Yeah, that's how simple it is. Now, <clears throat> the next part, after the main loop, this basically all it does is initializes the GUI toolkit event loop. Now, if that doesn't make sense, uh, it's basically saying, "Hey, I'm gonna start the program." That's basically all it does. That's that's its one job. Now, um, so yeah, so that's how we did it. And uh, if you want to see what other things uh, WX Frame accepts, we can do this. We can look at the documentation. And look, it accepts parent, it accepts an ID, a title, a position, the size, style, the name. So as you'll, as we'll go along, you'll see what each of these uh, mean. I won't go over all of them, but as, uh, but as you can dig around the documentation and figure out what it does. It's fairly simple. Now, um, <clears throat> let's see. Now this looks pretty nasty. This is one of the most basic examples that you can do with WX Python. So let me uh, tell you guys, um, if I was doing this, I would have it a little bit more structured. The way I would do it was um, uh, I would call in class and then I would call, let's just name it my frame. Very creative. And now it's gonna accept, it's gonna inherit from WX frame. Now the documentation, that's fine. It's gonna accept args and it's gonna accept keywords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So args and keywords. Yep, there we go. 
Hmm. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I get these weird, this question mark right here. It's just something I have Emacs do. It basically tells me um, whenever I have a piece of code that violates uh, PEP8 regulations, it, uh, it, it does that little weird thing. So for example, if I do this, you see, exclamation, exclamation mark. If I delete that, it goes away. So yeah. Now, um, uh, remember how we did a dot show on the previous method? Well, we don't have to do that. Well, in order to not do that, we can just set it up right here. So what we can do is self dot show, and that should uh, show itself. Now another thing is that you know when we run it, it appeared over here. It was a uh, it was kind of annoying that it would appear right here. Usually it appears in the center or whatever. We can have that do it as uh, do that too as well. And the way we do that is we center it, and we call the method center. How convenient, right? Now, um, uh, now let's see. Now I'm gonna run it. So I need to create the app, wx.app, and uh, I need to create my frame. Um, none. Again, remember, it's inherent from any other thing. And then app that main loop. Oops. There we go. And it needs an extra line. Yep. There we go. Now if I run it, main. Uh, Python is ready. Oh look at that. How polite. Look at that center. Bam. Beautiful. Now another thing that you guys might want to add is a title, right? Because look right here, Emacs. This has a title. So why not? Let's give it a title. Let's see. Um, switch back. Oops, and if you guys remember from the documentation, we can pass in the title, and all we have to do is pass in a string, so let's call it, um, uh, I don't know, um, burrito, uh, I can't even spell burrito, eh, whatever, burrito extreme, I don't know, whatever, and let's give it a size, as might as well, and for the size, it accepts a tuple. So let's uh, go with uh, 500 uh, width and 600 height. Now, if I call this, it should center it. Oh, look at that. 500 width, 600 height, and burrito extreme. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. Let's see. All right, I've been recording for a while. Um, I guess I'll continue on the next one. Yep.